Today we're going to give you a basic overview on neonatal resuscitation following a vaginal delivery of an unresponsive infant. Before we go into the delivery room, let me tell you a little bit about this family. This permigravida has chronic hypertension and is delivering early at 34 weeks. She's been attending appointments at the prenatal clinic inconsistently. Therefore, her prenatal care may not have been adequate. These factors all contribute to the chance that this newborn will need neonatal resuscitation. Let's go to the delivery room and see how she's doing. Push, push, How's push, it going? Push. Push. Ah, she's doing great. Ah, keep pushing. You can do it. Keep pushing. She's ah. great, Mom. Ah. The baby's showing. This baby needs to come out now. Ah. She's showing signs of distress. Oh. Push, you can do it. It's a boy. Why isn't he crying? He doesn't appear to be breathing and he's not responding. We need to start resuscitation. What's wrong with my baby? I know this is really stressful for you right now, but your baby isn't breathing on his own and we need to help him. Please take good care of my baby. The infant is unresponsive and not breathing. The nurse knows that it is important to provide resuscitation measures as soon as possible. The first steps in, the, in this process are to ask the following three questions. Is the baby term? Is the baby breathing or crying? And how is the baby's muscle tone? Then assess the meconium staining of the amni amniotic fluid. If present, it is necessary to immediately intubate the, the newborn and section the meconium stained fluid. Then warm the infant, dry and stimulate the baby. Another nurse should check the infant's vital signs and insert an IV if the infant is not responding to resuscitation measures. The baby is preterm, not breathing or responding, and has poor muscle tone. There is meconium staining in the amniotic fluid. I'm going to intubate. Correct placement. What's happening? What are they doing to him? The nurse midwife had to intubate your baby so he has a clear open airway. She's sectioning fluid to make sure all of the fluid is out so he can breathe on his own. The airway is clear. What's his pulse? We know the normal pulse range for a newborn is 110 to 160 beats per minute. If the nurse determines the infant's pulse is greater than 100 but is still cyanotic, you would provide supplemental oxygen. If the infant's pulse is less than 100, provide positive airway pressure using a bag valve mask. Pulse is 80. Begin rescue breathing by bag valve mask. We need to start an IV. IV started. Remember, we need to provide breaths every 1 to 2 seconds, or 40 to 60 breaths per minute. At this point, if the pulse is greater than 60, then we would continue to provide rescue breaths through the bag valve mask and continue to monitor. However, if the pulse is less than 60, then we will begin chest compressions at a ratio of 3 to 1 with the rescue breathing. His pulse is at 45. Begin chest compressions. Remember to provide the positive pressure. Ventilation. All right, it's been 30 seconds, reassessing pulse. Resuscitation effort to continue until the baby is pink, breathing well, and has a heart rate greater than 100. If the nurse finds the pulse is still less than 60, after 30 seconds of CPR, the nurse should administer IV epinephrine to increase the heart rate. Give 10 to 30 micrograms per kilogram every two to three minutes if the heart rate is below 60. His pulse is now at 50. We need to administer IV epinephrine. Epi pushed. His breathing is improving. His pulse is at 110. Is he okay? He's doing much better now. He's responsive and breathing on his own, and his pulse is improving. Here's your baby boy. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking such good care of him. He's perfect. I think I'm going to name him. George! <laughs> now that the baby be has become stabilized, he needs to be moved to the NICU for at least 24 hours to be monitored. Baby George here was a fighter and has completely recovered. However, if an infant has remained pulseless for over 10 minutes, the AHA recommends stopping resuscitation.
So we have still like two more hours of this so. Y'all wanna do some bloopers? <laughs> <laughs> Get Bridget swinging. Okay, I wouldn't do that with that because maybe I don't like it. The airway is clear. What's his pulse? And there we go. And all at one time. Wait, thank you. We're all just oh, waiting. thanks for watching. Should we should all say thanks for watching. Okay. Thanks for watching. Wait, should okay. we like one, say two, one, two, three? Okay. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> one, two, three. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.